My name is Maya Savino and I am a student at Centerville High School and I am very excited to get to read you guys a story out of Little Dreamers. So today we will be learning about Iko Ishioka. She was born in 1938 and passed away in 2012. She's an art director, production designer, and she is from Japan. By the time Iko was seven, she knew she wanted to follow in her father's footsteps and become a graphic designer. At the time though, design was a career strictly for men. Although her father warned her against it, he didn't stop her from trying because he knew Iko was born to go against the grain. In college, her male peers didn't believe she could be successful. And even when she won one of Japan's biggest awards in advertising, they undercut her success by claiming she won only because she was a woman. From that day, Iko vowed to work hard to prove them wrong. She adopted a mantra, timeless, revolutionary, original. Everything she created would have to live up to those standards. In her 20 years in advertising, Iko was a powerhouse. Her unique aesthetic was unmistakable and she was soon considered Japan's foremost art director because she had more creativity to offer and more barriers to break. She switched fields and began to work in production design, creating elaborate sets for movies and plays. Then she tried something totally new, costume design. American filmmaker Francais Ford Coppola hired her to create costumes for his adaptation of Bram Stoker's classical novel, Dracula. Iko created designs that were pure outward expressions of the creepy darkness of the story. The final products were so striking that they are typically the first thing associated with the film. For her incredible work, Ego was awarded an Academy Award in 1993. Ego went on to create costumes for the likes of Bjorn, Grace Jones, Julie Taymor, Tazine Sine, and Cirque du Lait, creatives known for their unique avant-garde styles. They pushed the boundaries of beauty, and Ego helped bring those ideas to the forefront through costume and design. Her many awards do little to showcase how big an impact she's had on the world of design, not only for women, but for anyone who likes to go against the grain. Um, and then here is a picture of Eco. I'm so glad that I got to read you guys this book. Um, I am an Asian American from Hunan, China, and I was adopted and came here and I'm just so excited that I get to read you this book and hopefully you learned a little bit today. Thank you.